Mad Alliance was howling because Joe, aka Mad Joe C. I've been meaning to get to this for about a week now. I think it's been out for a week now, exactly the day that I'm recording this video. Marvel vs. DC Rise of the Villains Part 3 by Mighty Raccoon. The first two parts were absolutely incredible. I loved them. Now we have, I think, when was Part 2? All I know is it was a long time ago. But now we got part three of this. Pretty much you could call it a web series. I, part three might be the final part though. I don't know. I haven't watched it yet. But at this point, there's a part three. You could pretty much call it like kind of a mini web series. Whatever it is, I think it's cool. So let's check this out. Kick back, chillax. Let's get it. Can't sleep. Something's coming. Any news from Stark? No. Not yet. That's the villains. You have an army. We have a home. <laughs> we have a home. <laughs> that is all. He looks right in the heroes. Fuck! Wow, jeez. And Abomination. Killmonger 2. Luthor! Stop this madness! Oh my god! You know the answer for that, Clark. We've known each other a long Holy time. Holy god! We're outnumbered. We need backup. Yeah, right. Let's go. Oh, here they go. Do all of you even have the faintest idea what Iron you're getting Man, yourselves into? You're blindly following this guy, but you don't know what happens if he reaches that portal. Nightmare Batman too. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Is no. this all you got, Stark? Is this your team? We are prepared. <laughs> Let's freaking Where's go. Ken? We lost him. What? Enough of this chaos. This is getting ridiculous. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Lex is going for the portal. Quit watching and pitch in. Oh, God. I ain't never seen how run that thing. You 
are so going to regret all of this. the portal go. He did it. What have you done? What have you done? Kind of reminds me of the man who worked here. Peter, Arthur, can you hear me? What's happening? Holy God. Pair of demons and out. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's bad. Holy dark side. I hate to say it, but I think they all about to die. And Thanos. Holy, and with a fully assembled gauntlet. Holy God. Guys, it's definitely not over yet. I thought it, but like you get three parts of something, and it's usually it's all said and done. This seems like it's gonna go on for a while. Like I said, this is like a web series, pretty much. I don't. This is something. This part four is going to be. Crazy intense. Part two was forever ago, so I forgot that Cap had died and everything. Part four? Parademons. Outriders. Dark Side. And Thanos. With a fully assembled Infinity Gauntlet. Now, as bad as this is, it's also kind of awesome, too, because Thanos and Darkseid working together, that's like any Marvel DC comic fanboy's wet dream. So, it's cool. But I don't know how they're supposed to... I don't... I... So, the portal 
So when Lex, you know, did the thing with the portal, what the point of it was to bring those two armies from Marvel and DC, the Outriders and Parademons, and then to bring the two most powerful, well, two some of the most powerful villains from Marvel and DC, Thanos and Darkseid. Darkseid's already crazy powerful. They're gonna already have to fight off like freaking tons of parademons and outriders. And Thanos with the fully assembled gauntlet. How? Everything was good. The dialogue, the voice actors for the characters. I really like the voice actors for Thor, Batman. Uh, though I really like those, the ones for th the voice actors, uh, for Thor and Batman. Um, animation was crisp, fluid, and again, it's just, it isn't supposed to be anything like, you know, Hollywood or anything. It's just made by a fan of these heroes. So for what it is, it's freaking incredible. And it kind of it has it reminded me of Infinity War a bit, you know. Some of the dialogue uh, definitely was taken from Infinity War, but it worked for the situation. And again, the situation that is now them versus Thanos and Darkseid. I don't know how they're supposed. To, I don't know. I really liked Hulk. I never seen Hulk run that fast before, at least in live action. I haven't. Black Superman was one of my fa I wasn't expecting it whatsoever. I freaking loved Black Superman. That's what we should have gotten in Justice League, but it's okay because we got in this and it looked awesome and I geeked out when I saw it. I'm going to need part four to come out soon, but I'm not going to, well, it is, it is what it is. I get that this part three probably took freaking forever to work on and it was worth the wait, so... I will happily wait, even though it'll be a struggle because of the cliffhanger that this was. Even though it'll be a struggle, I'll happily wait for part four. Just, Mighty Raccoon, though you're not even watching this, just take your time. And just all, get all the dialogue and animation and everything, story and everything to be incredible. And I and a lot of others will be happy. Let me know what you guys thought of part three and what do you think of this whole web series so far part three is probably my favorite so far because especially just because of the cliffhanger and everything let me know what you thought of the video down below in the comment section links are on my social media will be down below in the description box matt smash the like button share this video with anyone you feel to enjoy if you are new around here and like what you see tap the subscribe button to join the mad alliance on our journey to 100,000 subscribers and ding dong the notification bell to be notified of when I upload a new video. My name is Joe, aka Mad Joe of C. I hope you all have a marvelous day. Mad out. Mad. Strong. Together.